Back in December, Mohammed Mehdi Karami and Saeed Mohammed Husseini were given the death penalty. They say they were tortured into making false confessions. And now they're dead after being hanged by Iranian authorities. Karami and Husseini are the latest people to be executed by Tehran. In December, both Mohsen Shikari and Majid Reza Hranavad were also killed following mass protests which broke out after Masa Amini's death. It's believed around 19,000 people have been arrested. Activists and human rights groups say more than 450 Iranians have been killed, including security officials. Many fear that death toll could be rising. Those trials were not being fair, and many of us know this uh, confession has been taken under pressure and a huge torture. The arrest numbers was much bigger than everyone can be um, uh, speculated. More than 20,000 people has been arrested. And we have so much fears it wouldn't be end to these four people, and it would come more as they have many, many people in the custody, and many of them has been sentenced to death. The West has been quick to react. America's State Department spokesperson Ned Price has condemned the sham trials and executions, calling them part of Tehran's efforts to suppress protests. The UN's Human Rights Council deplored the executions and has called on Iran to stop the killings. And the UK's Foreign Minister James Cleverly urged Tehran to immediately end the violence against its own people. As for now, the struggle for gender equality and freedom in Iran continues, with protesters saying if one person is killed, a thousand will turn up for support. Daniel Padwick, TRT World.